In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite air raid passing concepts, how you can utilize it to beat every defense in Madden 23. Now, if you want to get my entire air raid offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, like I said, I am really enjoying the air raid offense. We did just release the ebook earlier this week. And uh, wanted to talk with you about one of my favorite plays in it and one of the most versatile passing plays in it. And that is the uh, curl wheel play. Now, this is actually known as 93, uh, 93 P or uh, H wheel. Uh, but we're going to kind of make some modifications to this. Really, one of the things we can do with this is create a lot of different uh, passing concepts that are going to be pretty effective. So we're going to be utilizing curl wheel. And what makes this route so good or what makes this play so good in general is the fact that this post route on the outside is one of the best post routes in the game. I actually think this might be the best post route in the game. Um, and the reason is this. If I was to press this cover four drop defense up, um, what I want you to do is watch this post route. And what you'll notice is this post route will cut so sharply that if we freeform this down, he can actually catch this in front of the safeties. He can catch this post route in front of the safeties, even in a cover four defense. So what you see here again, I'm gonna freeform right about there freeform down catch it and as you can see i'm able to kind of cut it off um in in a really nice little way now this is going to help us not only beat cover four but this is going to help us beat any coverage over the middle of the defense because it's a route that's going to get behind the yellow zones but it's going to get underneath the deep thirds as you can see right there and the other reason that I like this route is let's say that we put like a streak to the slot receiver and do something like this. If I have time in the pocket, what you're going to notice is that this route will run kind of similar to what the Pat's sale route from Madden 19 used to do. As you see here, I can throw this all the way across uh, the formation. So this post will literally run forever. And I think that's one of the little things about this, 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 uh, this post route. That is going to make it super, super, super effective uh, when you're running this. So again, I'll show you here. So again, if I just wait on the post, you'll see right here, I can throw that all the way across formation. Super valuable this year, super valuable. So what I like to do with this is essentially create a shallow cross uh, type of concept. And what that basically looks like is we are going to take uh, Cooper Cup, we're going to put him on a smart routed in route. We're going to streak Debo Samuel. We're going to drag Taysom Hill. And I actually like to block and release my running back uh, so that I can pick up any pressure that they might be sending me. So as you can see here, it's a simple shallow cross concept. Um, and what you're going to notice is that this is actually going to be spaced a lot better than you might think. And this post route is going to just cook zone coverage it's going to be really good against zone um and it's really good against zone and man coverage so again drag Taysom hill we're going to put cooper cup on a smart routed in route we're going to streak debo samuel um you could also streak cooper cup and then um put debo samuel on the smart routed in route as well um to kind of create more space but you'll notice that again the spacing in spread is so so good and um, if i could make a good throw he'd be wide open okay uh, i want to show you this route specifically against man to man now uh because i think this is one of the better man beaters that we have um so here it is against man to man and what you'll see is your smart routed in route is going to come open uh, on that side and then if i have short out elite i'm actually gonna f you don't have you don't even have to have short out elite for this it's that good um you know, but what you'll see here against man is he'll cut. He gets this really sharp cut inside, and you can throw this on the cut pretty much every single time. So, again, let me let me shift to, to cover one, and <clears throat> let's hope I not get screamed at here. But what you'll see is when he cuts inside, he has, like, such a sharp cut inside, he's able to throw this pretty high success rate um, against cover one or, you know, really any coverage as well. Now, one of the other things that I think is really interesting about the spread formation, I think this is one of the things that makes it viable, is the fact that if they run a press man coverage on the left, uh, Debo Samuel has short out elite. And what you'll notice is he will actually just completely destroy the man coverage over the top. As you see right there, he will just, short out elite basically gives you kind of a really effective um, way to beat press man. 
And if you, you can put them on a fade as well. You'll see here with the fade. If I put them on a fade, it's going to be even better separation typically. Um, but what you'll see here, you're just going to freeform and throw it over the top, basically. It's a great play because it gives you a shot play now, and they have to basically back that defender off uh, against you. Now, another way to set this play up would be to put a C route um, to Debo Samuel. This is a little better against man-to-man -man. if you have outside apprentice. You can throw that with a lot of consistency against man-to-man. -man. Now, uh, last coverage that I wanted to go over was match. So if they are running some match coverage, uh, match coverage does decent against, uh, against spread, in my opinion, this year. But what you're going to see here with this is really your, your in route is going to be wide open and your drag is going to be open. So, again, you're creating this kind of shallow cross, um, you know, sh shallow cross uh, concept. And so you've got a lot of opportunity with this. So let me show it to you again here. This is just simple cover four match or cover four quarters. Um, and again, you can put the C right over there if you want to. But what you're going to see is this dig right there is going to be a nice little read for you. And then you have the post. The post will be basically isolated. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. So if I'm running this against match, um, a lot of times this post route, because of how sharp it cuts, it's a massive advantage to the post route, right? So what you'll see here is the safety will like kind of look like he's going to double team, but he just doesn't. Now, if they do have KO abilities, they have KO abilities. But, you know, you see here it's basically man-to-man. -man. It's going to be very similar uh, matches, basically zone man-to-man -man defense. Um, and what happens with the, the fact that we have such a sharp cutting post route is the match is going to run they're not going to cover it in match as well as they would. So you can kind of like fit it in pockets and stuff. So curl wheel to me is one of the best plays in the game. Um, if you can master this play, there's a lot we can do off of it. We're just kind of building around this uh, post route. So for example, one of my favorite plays off of this would be to run some variation um, of stick where we have essentially a slant post combo on the left or on the right. And then we have this stick route in the middle to kind of suck down zones. That's another way that you can kind of build across this. So uh, sky is the limit with this curl wheel play. I think this curl wheel play, like you could run Y cross out of this. Like this setup right here is super underrated in air raid. Most people don't really think about the fact that Y cross, you can also have a, have a slant to the tight end. This right here is a really good setup because this, this, um, this flat is going to pull the zones out. You can throw that in that little window. And then the other thing that you have going for you with this is, <clears throat> excuse me, is the fact that your post, it, it's not going to get defended in zone. So just freeform it down and, and you just got to go cut it off. So um, if you want to learn the rest of the air raid offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up and it teaches you all the principles um, that Mike Leach originated uh, with How Mummy and kind of um, also putting a little bit of a Madden spin on it, but not much. We're going to add to this ebook uh, throughout the season uh, with more stuff, but really enjoying the air raid right now. If you want to learn the full ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and you can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.